Hey all, Heber here. So uh, it recently came to my attention that there's a new ship that's being tested on PC. And it is a Commonwealth legendary cruiser, uh, well, on PC tier 10, Brisbane, which would be the legendary Brisbane in uh, Legends. And uh, wow, does this ship look great. If you watch this channel, you know I love myself an Agile Minotaur. And uh, this thing here is probably the perfect agile cruiser it sure looks like it because uh really what it does is you're giving up smoke for you know lots of utility and uh, just pretty much an overall a better minotaur so uh, let's go through the details here and compare it to the actual minotaur so uh, we'll start with the biggest difference between the two ships and uh, if you look here uh it's pretty much the same except minute well minotaur has a faster reload and there's a reason for that that is because Brisbane gets high explosive shells and of course gives up the special short fuse AP shells of Minotaur, which I don't like. But uh, on the other hand, you do get HE, uh, so I guess it kind of evens out. Um, but look at that 9% uh, fire chance. And at the time, Brisbane has six second reload on uh, PC. It came out in four and a half seconds actually. So uh, if, when this ship comes to Legends, it's anybody's guess what we're gonna get. I'm gonna guess we're gonna get the 4.5 second reload. So, uh, wow, I mean, this looks fantastic. Okay, and next up, we have another ace in Brisbane's sleeve, and it's the fact that it gets not only uh, 16 torpedoes, but actually gets 20 torpedoes, and uh, same four launchers as Minotaur does. They're also faster, and they have more range uh, two and a half kilometer more range and uh, yeah they reload slower but I will happily give that up to get 12 and a half kilometer range on my torpedoes you see the damage is the same everything else is pretty much the same uh, except Brisbane gets more torpedoes and Minotaur get a you know slightly faster uh, reload so uh, this also looks absolutely fantastic because uh, torpedoes are so important for agile cruisers and uh, Brisbane is just going to absolutely hit it out of the park on that one. Next up, we have the AA. And again, Brisbane gets the upper hand here. Uh, it doesn't get 20 millimeter early con, it gets 40 millimeters, um, something else. And uh, the firing range is uh, longer by nearly two kilometers. And uh, the average damage per second is also much, much higher. So uh, overall, Brisbane's got better AA, although Minotaur has an extra early con, not two extra early cons, but really uh, Brisbane is again the winner here. So uh, Brisbane is just begging for an Agile build and of course we're going to need a Commonwealth Agile Cruiser Commander, so Wargaming please, if when you release this ship, uh, release an Agile Cruiser Commander for Commonwealth, please. As you can see, the um, stats are the same, so uh, you can get Brisbane just as agile as Minotaur, which is already really min really uh, agile. So again, this is uh, just, I, I can't wait for this Brisbane here. I, I'm, I have to be honest here. I haven't been this excited about a ship since Atago was about to be launched. All right, when it comes to concealment, uh, Brisbane loses out by about 400 meters. Uh, really, it doesn't matter at all. You know, especially if you run an agile build on your Minotaur or your Brisbane in the future. Uh, concealment is not something that we really worry about at all. All right, if we look at hit points, they're exactly the same and the armor layered is also exactly the same. So it, uh, it's going to be a glass cannon, just like the Minotaur. So uh, there must be a downside to this, right? And uh, there is, well, there is for most players because uh, Brisbane is unable to mount the smoke consumable, which let's be honest here, everybody uses when they play Minotaur. I don't think I've seen a radar in Minotaur other than myself uh, more than a handful of times. And uh, that's it. Brisbane, there is no crutch. You don't have smoke. Uh, you're going to have to rely on your skill and your positioning and your uh, awareness of the battle. So uh, it's going to be a very difficult ship to play, just like a radar Minotaur. It's extremely difficult. And uh, I took this from the Wargaming website. Uh, Whereas this, this is for Minotaur, but it applies to Brisbane because uh, Brisbane only runs with the radar. So uh, different challenge, more utility with the radar, obviously. That's what Agile Cruisers are all about, utility. 
And uh, yeah, if the division with destroyer, yeah, sure, it's easier. Uh, that's like, yeah, of course. Uh, playing Minotaur outside of division is more challenging and is only recommended for captains with excellent situational awareness. Meaning that uh, you have to be an excellent player to, uh, you know, do well in a Brisbane. Now, uh, the thing here is that for me and everybody else who plays Agile Radar Minotaurs, probably the most difficult ship to play in the game. Um, this Brisbane ship here is great news because what is really the essence here is that we're giving up smoke that an agile cruiser player doesn't use anyway and will never use. And uh, on the other hand, it uh, gets a lot of buffs in areas of the ship that we do use. And this is so important. Yeah, you get a slightly slower reload. Yeah, that is what it is. But you do get access to HE shells, which means that even those destroyers that are, you know, running away or going straight at you, you can still punish them with HE, which you can't with the AP because it's just going to bounce. And uh, that is the Achilles heel of Minotaur. But uh, Brisbane is going to uh, be able to go around that uh, issue with HE shells. And uh, honestly, I cannot wait to try that ship. I don't know if we've been getting it on Legends. I assume we are. But uh, wow, if we do, it's going to be amazing. I use my torpedoes a lot when I play Minotaur and uh, getting an extra two torpedoes on each side is going to be, uh, well, I'm going to say it's almost going to be game breaking. Now, I don't know if uh, Brisbane is going to get the tube by tube launchers just like Minotaur does. I don't know, um, but uh, I'm hoping it'll, it will. And uh, even if it doesn't, that's fine. Uh, so instead of the 16 torpedoes on Minotaur, you're going to get 20 on Brisbane. So this destroyer here is what I'm talking about. Uh, like, It's not until he's broadside that I can really punish him with my AP. And uh, in Brisbane with HE, that's not a problem. So uh, it's really going to uh, make destroyer play very, very uh, challenging. Uh, and I believe for Brisbane, an agile build is going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, the ship is tailored for it, and uh, I am pretty sure it's going to be the ultimate agile cruiser. It really is. Uh, of course, it's <laughs> it's a squishy one, so you have to be careful. Like you have to know the game, you have to know everything about the game, um, because uh, you might not get into a kind of a potato battle like the one I'm in here in my uh, agile radio Minotaur, where you have to actually uh, you know play well. I mean, and this one, I just picked this one because it was a short video on eight minutes and I didn't want to make the whole video too long. So that's why uh, I'm not going to say that this is a good showcase for an Agile, uh, you know, Radar Minotaur because yeah, it is a little bit too easy. But anyway, uh, give up smoke on your uh, Minotaur that you don't use anyway if you run an Agile build like I do, Agile Radar build that is. And uh, you're getting paid back in a, you know, better torpedoes, better AA, and uh, just overall a ship that fits the agile playstyle uh, even better than Minotaur does. I mean, Minotaur is already, um, if not the best agile cruiser, then uh, probably the next best. And uh, with Brisbane in the game, I am sure we are going to see some uh, some pretty <laughs> amazing uh, battles. And. Uh, of course, we will need that uh, Agile Commonwealth Commander. And uh, now that I'm actually watching this video here, I think I might actually have shown it before. But anyway, it doesn't matter. This video is about Brisbane. And uh, like I said, I don't know if we're getting the ship. I would assume we are because uh, we usually get all the PC ships just a little bit later than PC. And uh, Brisbane, as far as I understand, is still in testing on PC and it has been uh, you know, nerfed a few times already. Um, but I think it's going to be uh, a very nice addition to uh, to Legends, and it's going to be a ship where, like, if you enjoy agile cruisers, like you're able to show off uh, your skills and you know how valuable an agile build is on a radar cruiser. Because, uh, like I said, every Minotaur I see out there is a smoke Minotaur, and sure they can do damage, but. Uh, like they can't hunt down any destroyers, you know. They can't cap early on. They just uh, 
I don't understand why people play them with smoke, but uh, that's not really uh, a problem with Minotaur because you can only play it with radar. And uh, I think it's going to be a nasty experience for some players. <laughs> and uh, I will say, I think it's going to be a difficult ship to play, but I know it's going to be a difficult ship to play because, you know, the radar, like here, I'm using the radar to unmask the Belfast. A smoke minnow, yeah, can't do that. It can just sit there and be useless and have to rely on the DD to spot. And which DD wants to go in and spot a Belfast 43? And uh, not many DDs want to do that. So we're here, I'm helping out my DD, I'm doing my part, and uh, I'm using uh, the Agile Cruiser to its potential. So uh, with Brisbane being a legendary ship, uh, it's unlikely it's going to be a campaign ship. I mean, it could be. Minotaur was a campaign ship uh, at Christmas, like last Christmas, not this Christmas. Um, so it's not unthinkable. And uh, I don't see how else we're actually going to get the ship because I don't believe it's going to be a steel ship because that would require probably 50,000 steel or something. And I mean, that's going to take players, I don't know, three years to, uh, to you know, save up. Most people have taken two years to save up for um, <laughs> Missouri at 30,000 steel. So uh, yeah, I don't think steel is going to be the thing. I really don't hope it is. It could be a bureau project. I don't think so either. I think uh, the ship is too powerful to be a uh, bureau project uh, in the same way that Colbert wasn't a bureau project. So uh, I don't know how it's going to be introduced into the game. I think it's going to be a campaign ship, really. And uh, it's going to be a legendary price. Um, I don't know, and uh, perhaps it's not the best idea to do that because it means that a lot of people who uh, probably shouldn't be sailing such a difficult ship will get their hands on it and, you know, will just be, you know, cannon fodder for everyone else. However, we might even get a uh, Commonwealth Agile Cruiser Commander that, uh, you know, has as his base perk uh, a bit of extra rudder, meaning that uh, you can then uh, you know, switch or pop another two rudder inspirations on that commander as inspirations along with all the usual perks that up the speed and rudder. So uh, I'm kind of hoping that, I really hope that, you know, Wargaming is going to make the Commonwealth line the best agile cruiser line there is. And uh, they can do that by, uh, by simply making the base perk on that commander, like, uh, I don't know, 3% rudder and 2% more speed, that would be excellent. Um, that meaning that if that happened, you could get the Brisbane rudder under two seconds, which would be absolutely perfect. So uh, anyway, I am so excited for Brisbane and I don't know when we get it and if we ever going to get it, but uh, I sure hope so. And uh, let me know in the comments if you're also looking forward to that ship, because I sure am. And uh, as you can see here, uh, not the best red team, but uh, the length of the video was suitable, so that's why. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it and see you out there.